Um, question two and three. Mm. We spoke about Eight. number patterns. Number patterns. Number patterns. They are usually underestimated, and you find out then that when we are seeing when when we are marking there we are seeing stuff and we're like Please. yeah no. <laughs> what's your name Greek I got 100 on my dash got 200 in my trunk name in the grab bags for my trunk like a rocker on the top of my but like a long so number patterns very crucial so what I would like to stress um, a lot in number patterns is that um, you guys have gotten used so much to the general term that you forget that there are also simplified versions of the general term for each and give every us give us an a scenario give us a so, scenario for an example we know that um, a geometric sequence has the 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 general term t n is equal to a multiplied by r to the power of n minus one we know that yeah but then the simplified version of each term would be t1 which would be equals to a so that means in tn we are going to substitute n equal one to get that value and so for t2 then we are go going to get a t2 is equals to a times r and then t3 is equals to a times r squared and so forth until we get to the general term, which would then be Tn is equal to a to the power of r, or Tn is equal to a times r to the power of n minus 1. So those simplified versions are sometimes where the tricky questions rely on. Mm -hmm. So the tricky question, in order for us to solve the tricky questions of um, number patterns, we also need to always take into consideration sure. those simplified versions of terms. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh, I, I think um, just not to belabor it too much. No? I'm just thinking if you were given, let's say, the, the second term of yes. a geometric pattern as well as the eighth term. Sure. Right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able otherwise to get the value of R. Yes. Right? But you know that T2 is AR. A right? You know that T8 is a r to the seven. power seven yes right and so you know you've got a formula that says a r is equal to let's say a r is five and then you know that a r to the power seven is equal to 48 i'm just making an example right so you've got those two formulae you can make a the subject of the formula here substitute it into the next one you've got your value for r. You've eliminated one of the variables, right? So um, please keep that in mind. Also, you were talking about, as you were talking about general term as well, for an arithmetic sequence, right? If I've got tn, I know it's equal to a plus n minus 1 times d, yes. right? So those things are important. And um, for sigma notation as well, yes, very important, very important, Ooh, very, very important. important. Right, for you to be able to identify whether it's an arithmetic sequence, it's a geometric sequence. Now, uh, what you'll normally do for a sigma notation is that you can work out the first three terms, first three. Sure. right? Work out whether you've got a common difference. But I mean, generally speaking, guys, whenever you've got a power, you know that's a geometric, geometric. sequence, right? When you've got a somewhat linear equation. 3k minus 1. Yes. That's going to, to be an arithmetic sequence. And what you do is you're going to start from your, uh, from your lower boundary. Let's say they said uh, n for k is equal to 2 till 5. Okay? So please remember, which means sigma is a sum. Right? Yes. That's a sum. Yes. Sure. So if my uh, the, the, the upper value is 5, and the lower value is 2. So how many terms am I adding? I'm adding 5 minus 2 plus 1. So 5 minus 2 is 3 plus 1, which means that's 4 terms, right? So which means I'm taking the sum of 4 terms. And you'll get your first term by taking the lower boundary and, of course, your last term by the upper boundary. I don't know if there's anything else. Hey, Washana. I'd like to invite you to a series of masterclasses that will be taking place from the 13th to
to the 17th of October. Now these masterclasses are aimed at preparing you towards your final exams. Now I'm mindful that you know you don't struggle with all the topics in mathematics or on science. So we've structured it in such a way that we'll be covering a topic a day. So you can select from the topic of your choice, the one that you'd like to attend, and you are sure that we will deliver on exactly what your needs will be. So join us on this series of masterclasses. I hope to see you there. Uh, there. Hmm. Yeah, you're quite right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's usually an yeah, underestimated it's, it's, section. It's, it's quite uh, underestimated. I saw there was a, a, a hand that was yes. up. Please raise your voice. <coughs> <laughs> So, uh, it's not a question, but it's a combined committee. They shouldn't forget the proofs. Just because they didn't oh. come out in oh. the past terms doesn't oh. mean it's in the final exam. We <laughs> 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 oui, oui, chef's kiss. You, you know it. That question deserves that. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. What surprises this freedom? So, what are other terms that we should know? Like Epsisa. Hey. Hmm. Some of you are still unsubscribed. Shares has been telling me that over 55% of you have not yet subscribed but have been enjoying the content. Please, why don't you go ahead and do the right thing? Click on that subscribe button. Let's go back to the lesson. Hey. You know, the, the problem is, and, 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 and that's, a, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. I think in the, in the, <laughs> and I don't want to put myself on the line here. Yeah, we, we, we you know, know it, about this. I guess with the objective of trying to be relevant and to be globally competitive, Examiners try to go the whole nine yards, you know, and try to um, now vulula all of these terms from the seventies. Yeah, wanna just to show who they we know maths. It's important, by the way. Maths talk is important, sure. Because we, you know, for instance, we normally say uh, what you do on the left, you do on the right. There's no such a thing in maths. I hope you know that, right? But we talk about the law of inverses, right? So the the problem is that. I can't really anticipate. <laughs> I mean, if we, we had to come up with a, a list of things or words that they can throw in, it would be difficult for us, uh, and let alone for you to actually remember those words. So uh, I, I would say, Mamela, ne? Kwana manya mamaks. That you're going to have to say, Mr. Examiner. I'm fine this one with is this for one. you. Yes. <laughs> I'm fine with this one. <laughs> and make peace with it. Yes. You know? Make peace with it. Wow. Uh, once you're done with the exam, there's not even a, a reason for you to discuss it yes. afterwards. Just make peace. I did not know what an abs uh, abscessa is. It's okay. Right? But what I knew. <laughs> So I really what got... was the abscissa? <laughs> Just in case. Do you want to tell, uh, them? No, tell them? Okay. Tell them say. So, so when you're talking about the abscissa, you are talking about the x values, right? Uh, uh, the, the x intercepts, right? So it's really one of those old terms that we used to use. Uh, but in that case, I guess the examiner decided would take, you know what, let me flex, flex my... Yeah. My my examination <laughs> muscles, you know. So the uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there is there is a word for it. Yeah, yeah. it's just those that have, uh, maybe 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 uh, another word the, to look out for the zeros of an equation, right? Mm. Now, when we talk about the zeros, <laughs> those are your x intercepts. Yes. Okay. Uh, when we talk about your your local, uh, yeah, your local, so your I'm locals. using that word um, in, in class, locals, locals, locals. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a local minimum, you've got a local, local maximum, maximum, right? So those are your turning points. Yes. So just remember. Or another word, stationary, stationary points. points. Hey, now, they're, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> stationary points, right? Stationary points. Again, 
those are your those are your uh, uh, your ten points, points again, right? So these are all the phrases, the words that they can throw in there. But this uh, has all to do with uh, with functions. But I mean, um, as I said, you know, we can talk about maybe a few of them, but uh, it would be we we can't be exhaustive about it. Talk about and exhaustive. Yay! <laughs> yes. Let's talk probability. <laughs>